Hi, this is Julie with Beadaholic, and I have a show and tell for you today showcasing all these new styles of bar chain that we just got in. Um, I have a few examples of use before we start with the actual uh, showing of the new product, and this is using an older style, but you see this pretty scalloped bar chain, and it comes like this, it comes with little jump rings between it, and I just wire wrapped some briolettes and made a really pretty elegant necklace. So that's if you just use the chain as it is, and then to make the chain a little longer, I just use a little different chain, which is a great way of kind of extending the bar chain. Here is an earring I did about four years ago, but I took two little scallops of the same bar chain and then just used them in the earring to add a little bit more structure. And then this is something Carlin just did, which is really fantastic. She made a little pyramid using the bar chain, and then she just used the same chain as the actual necklace as well. So that's a couple of really fun ideas of what you can do with bar chain, and now I wanna show you the new styles that we just got in. So we have of a traditional straight bar chain, we have a small size, a medium, and a large. And you can see it comes in a variety of finishes. We have a really pretty gunmetal, we have an antique brass, we have an antique silver, a bright silver, a gold, and you can see that it's available in the various sizes. To show you scale, I'm gonna bring over a quarter. A quarter is about an inch across, just a little bit under. So you can see what the size of these are. Moving along, we do have now a nice larger scallop. So this is gonna be the same chain that we used here, just a larger scallop, which is gonna give more space between your beads if you are gonna do something like this. Also, again, if you're gonna cut the different chain segments to use them as links or connectors, that's gonna give you some nice spacing. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to separate these out to make them into a link or connector. So I just cut the jump ring between it, and now you can see you've got two holes and you can link something to that, be it another chain, a bead, a jump ring, whatever you might want. We also got in a thicker bar chain, which I really like this one. It's got a lot of dimension to it. Again, now this one, I wanna show you a little differently. It doesn't have a jump ring between it. So if you're planning out your project and you're gonna go ahead and purchase this chain, do note that you are gonna actually have to cut one of the bars between the chains. So this one you won't be able to use, but you will be able to go ahead and use the next one. And because these are small, it's not gonna take that much of your chain length away, but you are gonna to have to cut those because they don't have a jump ring between them. We also have a textured scallop now, and this comes in an antique brass and an antique silver, and it's got that really nice ribbing to it. It too has a little jump ring between it, so you'll just be able to cut the little jump ring. So we also got a textured bar chain, and we got it in the small, the medium, and the large again. And in this one, we brought in just the antique color. So we have the antique brass, and we have the antique silver. And we did that because in order to see this texture, you really wanted an antique finish so that the dark would contrast against the light, which is a really pretty effect. So we got that in small, medium, and large. So for the exact sizes, you can check out our website, beataholic.com, where all of these bar chains, as well as hundreds of other chains, are available for sale.